Hi, I'm Dr. Julia Zerker, and we're at the Animal Hospital of Statesville, answering some common questions about uh, breeding your dog and everything you need to know about reproductive services. So Kyle's going to ask some questions. What's the first one? What do I need to know if I want to breed my dog? Good question. So if you want to breed your dog, um, biggest thing to consider, which may be the next question, is uh, <laughs> the, health, the health of the dog. You wanna make sure that, that your dogs are both, the, the male and female are both healthy and able to have a pregnancy, and that you are ready to ha have puppies and, and prepared for complications that may come up along the way. That's both in workload and financial responsibility. Yes. yes. It can turn from kind of free to lots of money in no time. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, if, if an emergency comes up, it can be a, a cost situation that is worth considering beforehand um, so that you're not stuck at an emergency clinic and, and surprised. Right. And you don't want to have to make bad decisions about your dog because yeah. of financial reasons. So. Yeah. What is the most important factor when considering canine reproduction? And you kind of touched on that. Yeah, just the health of the dog, making sure that they're healthy, they're up to date on vaccines to pass to the puppies or titers, um, heartworm tests is negative, and uh, that they have the best shot at getting pregnant and carrying a healthy pregnancy to produce healthy puppies. Are there, this, this is not in her question mm -hmm. list here, but are there any things that your dog might have that you would not want to bring pass on? on to yes yeah, pass yeah. on to other litters that is a great question um so we do require we do encourage breeders to do breed specific health testing so certain breeds have things like you know elbow dysplasia or hip dysplasia or things like that that um it's good to screen against those before breeding them so that we know that the pair has the best chance of producing healthy puppies. And there are recommendations for those, those health testing on the Breed Club of America's website, so Labrador Retriever Club of America or things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that helps you focus on breeding for health and breeding for you know puppies that are going to be healthy and have good home good lives what about things like cherry eye and uh, hernias um, what other are, are there any other things like that that you shouldn't breed a dog well so health health screening is a difficult thing um, yes we want to breed out things like hernias and, and cherry eyes and you know lexiting patellas and little dogs but in little dogs something like 80% of little dogs have luxating patellas, and so if you ah. throw them all out, then you run into some problems. So the short answer of health screening is that you're trying to give the dogs the best chance, so it's about coming up with pairs that work better rather than completely throwing a dog out of the, the breeding pool. But if there are multiple strikes against a dog, you know, cherry eyes and hips and whatever, then yeah, you should consider not breeding that dog because it's probably not going to be passing on the best genes for its puppies. Okay. Sorry to throw that one at That's you. That's okay. <laughs> so will my dog need breeding screening and do they get that from a vet? Mm -hmm. So that's partially like what we just talked about. So we mm -hmm. can do, we do um, off a hips, elbows, cardiac, um, pen hip, thyroid, I don't know, a bunch of other ones um, here, but then those are you know strongly encouraged for the breed. Um, but then we also do a, a pre-breeding exam. So within 30 days of when you're planning to breed, just checking over that the, the dogs are healthy and, and ready to be bred and that we can touch base on what the breeding plan is for them. Okay, so they need to contact you before they want to breed to make sure they have everything that they need. Is that a good idea? So with how slammed, practices are these days with COVID. Yeah. Um, ideally, we would start seeing you around like day three to five of her heat cycle, so when you start noticing the, the discharge. But because of being able to, to fit in um, within 30 days of when you expect the heat cycle to start is a great time to touch base so that we can work you in and it's not a full emergency. We'll do uh, our best. <laughs> <laughs> so what is involved when assessing my dog's fertility? Mm -hmm. So for female dogs, we start with a physical exam and the history. And so in female dogs, one of the biggest causes of infertility is 
mistiming when the breeding is, which is why progesterone timing is so important. So that's usually where we start. With male dogs, what we do is take a sample of the semen and look at it under a microscope to see what it looks like and how much there is and things like that. And so we can assess how fertile they are and what their chances are of getting a dog pregnant. Okay, and it talks about shipping here. What, I'm not sure what, what they mean by that. <laughs> Those are other things that are a little more complex. Um, you can do things like test shipments if you're shipping semen across the country to make sure that when it gets where it's going, it's still alive. Um, otherwise, you're just hoping a little bit. But uh, <laughs> so that if, if that is something that you're running into, that's something we can discuss. But a good place to start is just looking at the semen. Okay. Do veterinarians offer dog progesterone testing? Yes, we do. Um, here at the Animal Hospital of Statesville, we use the send out test because it's more accurate. So okay. we do have a, a little bit of a time gap, um, but because it's significantly more accurate and we can plan better for a higher chance of getting pregnant. Okay. How is my dog's pregnancy status evaluated? So two ways, uh, starting about one month after she ovulates, around day 28, we can see on an ultrasound little heartbeats of, of the fetuses. Um, so that's where we would start. And then as you get later in pregnancy and the bones start to form, you can take an x-ray and then see how many puppies are in there. Okay, we've done that many times before. <laughs> so can dogs have cesarean sections? Uh, yes, they can. <laughs> um, yeah, so some dogs need it and you know, it's, it's uh, an emergency situation and you're having, you know, a puppy is stuck or there's some complication that requires an emergency C-section. And then some we schedule, so um, for instance, some of our smushed face breeds, our brachycephalic breeds, um, some of them need a little bit of help delivering puppies, and so we'll plan that and just plan there'll be a C-section so that it's okay. safer delivery. Are there any risks associated with my trying to breed my dog? Yes. <laughs> um, yes, so breeding is always a risk. I mean, even pregnancy in humans has, has complications. Um, it does put stress on the heart and some of the other organs, and mm -hmm. so that's why we do screen our dogs before we breed them to make sure that they're healthy before we, um, you know, to give them the best shot of getting through the, the pregnancy. Because there are complications that can arise just like when a human has has ba a baby. Sure, it's a, it's a complicated procedure the whole way around. Yeah. And it, it, it can be dangerous and it can be very successful and fun. So yeah, just make sure you know what you're getting into. <laughs> so we're always here for you if you have any questions uh, regarding the reproductive services for dogs. Just give us a call. Thanks.